As computers shrink in size and grow in power, the components that drive them are getting smaller and smaller. The single atom transistor is a major milestone on the road to unparalleled computing power. It's predicted that transistors will need to reach single atom level by 2020 to keep pace with Moore's law, a trend that sees the number of transistors squeezed onto a circuit double every 18 months to two years. It basically proves that we can take silicon transistors all the way down to the atomic scale. It's about eight to ten years ahead of where industry currently is. The beauty of the University of New South Wales device is that it's encased in silicon, a material commonly used by industry. It opens up the possibilities for future manufacturing. Uh, we are trying to build a, a quantum computer in silicon and the big advantage there is that uh, you will be able to use the knowledge that's already out there in the silicon uh, nanofabrication industry and achieve a useful size by scaling up these components. An international research team at the University of New South Wales is working on a quantum computer. It will solve some of our biggest technological challenges. There are some calculations with a classical computer that you just can't do within your lifetime. So they're just so complicated, there's so many variables, it just takes too long. And the whole idea of a quantum computer is it kind of works in parallel. And those, those kind of similar calculations would take uh, seconds to minutes to do the same kind of calculations. The applications are vast. Just one quantum computer could do the work of a couple of hundred thousand traditional PCs. It could predict weather patterns for weeks on end or work out complex economic modelling. But don't expect a quantum computer on your desk anytime soon. Researchers expect it to take at least 10 years to create a fully functioning machine. Emma Hannigan, World News Australia.